I wish I had your life. My life would be so much better. For reals? Take it, then I'd get yours. Deal. If I was you, I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be me too. The swap. I'd wanna be me. Hey all, Captain Sean here with my special review for Disney Channel's newest original movie, The Swap. A seemingly fun, simple story about body switching that, while telling a fun tale, is also a story about gender identity, and social norms. The story focuses on two troubled teenagers named Ellie and Jack who don't like how their lives are going and wish they were the other. However, due to the power of magical cell phones, they unintentionally switch bodies. This results in some obvious comedic shenanigans, but that isn't the drive of this movie. Now, if you've seen other body switching stories done in other TV shows and movies, you'd think this might be a movie about a boy and a girl simply seeing how hard it is to be the other. And while that is addressed, the real drive of this movie is giving the characters a chance to essentially roleplay as someone different and letting that roleplay give them a chance to better view their own identity and what is truly acceptable for someone of their gender. Now, in the stereotypical high school of this movie, the girls make their friendship networks very complicated and fashion is important to them, while the boys keep their friendships, aka who they chill with, simple, and playing sports is important to them. Now, something that viewers will notice from the start of the movie is that Ellie and Jack don't completely fit into those norms, mostly in how they communicate and build relationships with others. However, when they switch bodies, it gives them an opportunity to interact with their peers, both male and female, in a different way. Ellie learns in Jack's body to be more direct and keep things simpler the way many guys do, while Jack in Ellie's body learns to be more open to talking about his feelings like many girls do. However, this isn't the clear-cut message of the movie. For example, Ellie while in Jack's body learns that she still needs to let her feelings out in appropriate moderation, and Jack while in Ellie's body learns that being too open about how you're feeling can actually hurt your relationships with people. Essentially, the movie isn't clear-cut in its message of how males and females should consistently behave and act, but that's ironically where its strength comes in. The movie shows that it's okay to be in touch with your feelings, talk things out, and even cry sometimes, whether you're male or female. And it shows that it's okay to be a little tough and direct in confrontation sometimes, whether you're male or female too. The movie lets young viewers know that if you're a guy, you can do some things that would stereotypically be feminine and still be a guy. And lets girls know you can do some things that would stereotypically be masculine and still be a girl. The movie doesn't necessarily create some perfect dividing line in how males and females should act, but rather actually shows male and female viewers that they can be allowed to be more similar to each other than society and stereotypes would usually allow. Now that being said, the characters of Ellie and Jack don't deviate tremendously from other types of noticeable gender stereotypes. At the end of the movie when they go back to their regular bodies, Jack doesn't start wearing dresses and Ellie doesn't change her preferences and who she wants to date, but the movie isn't about gender roles in the fashion and dating sense. It's about simple social behaviors. And that's probably the more important issue to discuss with people, because how you socialize and interact with everyone in your life is more important than how you dress and how you hit the dating scene. And speaking of dating, you've got to give Disney some credit in this movie for actually having the main boy and girl in the story not become a couple by the end, but instead become more like a brother and sister to each other. It's a neat change in the stereotypes you'd actually see in most Disney movies, so it's nice to know a movie about going against societal norms is being done in this movie in multiple ways too. But with all that being said, The Swap is definitely an interesting movie to pick apart, and will give you tons of discussion material to go over with your friends and colleagues, and will give you plenty of thought-provoking material to just consider as well.